Okay. Wait, what was that over there? Oh, horses. Okay. Don't don't really care. I could get BA here if I really wanted him. Hello, do you play a horn? I missed the music. Okay. We don't get too many travelers out here, but thanks for coming out. Now, I don't want you to be disappointed, but you should know that the musical troupe isn't here right now. Uh, where did they go? Last I saw them, they were held heading northeast to Woodland Stable in Eldin. I miss the days when I could get, a war get warm, chilly visitors with a fire and a good show. But without that troop, even the great fairy blesses, that blesses travelers has hidden herself away. What if we don't have enough to offer? And what a sorry end to this stable that would be. Why, yes, the place that you came from. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. It might not be hard to see, but there's a great fairy over there in a bud. Just a few days after the upheaval, she went into that bud and hasn't come out again. You can smell her perfume from here. It's actually quite obnoxious. If she could play the, she could hear the troop play again. I'm sure she'd show herself, but none of hers. Yeah, take this alcohol, and don't think of leaving before you're prepared. The fire's here to warm you up, young man. Uh, oh, you're not. I was hoping you were a guy. Your story is really quite something. Mind going through it again, just to make sure I have all the details? Sure, no problem. Uh, we've been talk taking care of a very rare animal for Princess Zelda. A golden horse. Whoa. But the poor thing ran away from our stable. Hmm, Princess Zelda's horse vanishing like that is a pretty big story, but tell me again, why did that horse run off? That's the troubling part, isn't it? When it happened, I'd finished tending to the horses and was taking a bit of a rest in the stable. Then that gentle creature began making terrible sounds, neighing and bucking around so hard it shook the stable. So you went outside to see what was wrong, did you? Yeah, exactly, and there she was, Princess Zelda. At the time, she was right in front of our stable, but then the princess came closer and the golden horse thrashed harder. Then the animal broke free and bolted away like nothing I'd seen before. I couldn't help staring at that crazed creature, and when I looked back at the princess, she was just gone. It happened so fast. So you lost sight of the horse, then Princess Zelda vanish vanished on the spot. That's all strange from start to finish. My little sources tipped me off about this, but I have to say I thought it was going to be it was going to turn out to be nothing much. Hey partner, you're here. I should have known it was you there. And just look at you, tiptoeing up like this and getting your ear in. You've got the makings of a real reporter. Oh, is this someone else from the newspaper? That's right, new partner, plenty of gusto, and a lot of promise. Would it be alright if he listens in? Now, please, tell us anything else you can remember, anything at all. The part that really bothers me is the poor act animal acting that way. That, truth, that horse truly loved the princess. She rescued it and protected it. She doted on it. But the horse was terrified, and for the life of me, I can't understand why. Princess Zelda is known far and wide for her compassion. I can't imagine our princess being terrifying at all. Hold on. I think I did catch the briefest glimpse of the princess's face. I thought I couldn't have seen it right, but she had such a cold expression. She's been full of warmth since she got here. Since she's been here before, uh, maybe the princess was furious that I let the horse get away. I I really should find that animal and bring it back here for her. But that poor horse galloped north and never looked back. I'd go in search of that steed, but with that huge monster that's flying around up north, it's far too dangerous for me. You mean the, the one that's in my inventory right now? The best thing I can do is just keep the horse's home here in the stable nice and clean in case it returns. I just hope someone finds that sweet creature and brings it back here safely. I see. Well? Well? Um? Let's check in with Beetle real quick. Oh, wait, no, you're important, aren't you? <coughs> Look at you, dressed to keep nice and warm, it seems. Also, we haven't seen Cass, now that I mentioned that voice. The blizzard outside is furious, is it not? This weather can be life threatening to those without cold-resistant clothes. 
While my fashion is perfect for nearly every scenario, sadly a raging blizzard is not one of them, so I am stuck here. You can buy cold resistant clothing at Rito Village off to the west. Clothes that are stuffed with feathers, I've heard. But they say that the bridge that crosses over to their village has collapsed, so a journey there could prove fruitless. Beetle! Ah, oh, it's a good, good, it's just to see you, even if it is a freezing. These are clothes were made for the weather, but uh, be be beetle goes where the, the travelers are. Well, 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 then, can I tempt you to buy? Or are you selling today? You have... Nothing. Bye. Okay, we have a quest. We have a quest. Let's do the quest. I think that'll be the last thing I do this recording session. I think that's a good place to end off. I don't see any other shrines. I don't see anything else that's really important. Yeah. And it sounds like, for the most part, I've I've done the legwork required uh, for this quest. So really, it just all that matters now is having the horse is having BA do his handiwork, his legwork. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm. Yep, 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 yep. I know all of this. BA, let's go. So. The only thing really holding me back from this quest, it sounds like, is the, uh, the Gleok, which would be really funny if it respawned just for this quest. So if I head this way... That's weird. Hold on. Okay. Whatever. There's apparently a golden horse around here, uh, which sounds very different from, from Zelda's horse in, uh, in Breath of the Wild. That one was white. Where could this horse be? This cover makes me think it's probably in here. And will we get a cutscene for it? It's my question. Weird that it would go out into the cold. It might actually be dead. That'd be a weird end of the quest. Um, stop here real quick. In here, nothing? Oh yeah, I forgot this area it turns kind of golden in the, the evening. So it could be the white horse. It just, in the right lighting, it's gold. Where, is that it? That's it. That's definitely it. That's a golden horse if I've ever seen one. That's like Ocarina of Time golden cucko. Or I guess, I guess there was, no, there was a golden cucko in Ocarina of Time, right? No, I think I'm thinking of Twilight Princess. Well. Come on, Tulin. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Can I dive onto the horse? Ow! What was that about? Fine. Fine. Yeah, we use the demon bow. Our patented strategy? Shock and jock! Never fails. Never fails. Wow, this is a golden horse. What on earth? What's this all about? How many? How many spurs? Three? Three spurs? Okay. Um, I, I think, you know, I, I seem to recall one of the comments telling me very early on in the LP that it is possible to increase the amount of spurs on a horse. Which maybe this will be the tutorial for, since this is kind of the tutorial area. For some reason, Rito is just like the tutorial area in, well, the t three, no, yeah, three games that they've been in. I was going to say it, it's kind of coincidental if it was two, but three is definitely a pattern. Man, this is a very, like, very gaudy horse. I can't even imagine Zelda on it. I, I can't, I can't actually take this thing seriously. What do I name this? Ooh, I have a good name. Oh, I have a, I have the best name. Oh, I have a great name. Uh, let's let's get to the stable because the, I have I had the perfect name for this thing. Come on. Oh, look at that! It's uh, it's Kilton. We might go see Kilton actually. I think that's a great way to end off the episode or the recording session. Uh, wait, wait, wait so, sorry, sorry, I forgot. I was going to go register it. Uh, this way. Also, it's fully tame. I hope that horse is safe. You mean this one? 
Oh, look who's finally back home. Actually, that's her song. No doubt about it. That's Princess Pe uh, Princess Peach. Princess Zelda's seed for certain. I've been worried sick, but now you found it. Huh? When did you... Uh, oh, never mind. So, partner, when you show up and save the day in the middle of my reporting work here, well, it kind of throws me off my saddle, you know what I'm saying? I'm just giving you a hard time. Besides, those good deeds of yours just feather my reputation. You make me proud. But, huh, is it just me, or is that the, has that misplaced pony there gotten kind of attached to you? I know this horse well, and I do believe you're right. Really, you'd be doing me a favor if you kept this gentle creature. Princess Zelda asked me to find someone to take, who'd take good care of it. And in your travels around Hyrule, perhaps you even have a chance to reunite this horse with the princess. If that's the case, partner, then how about you say no to keeping it? Do it as a favor to the, for the horse, at least. Wait, I want you to have this too. Royal Bridal. This bridal is well known for being a favorite of the Hyrulean royal family. Its gold ornamental ornamentations leave an impression, but its true value lies in its solid craftsmanship. Also, please take this. The shimmering emblem design of this saddle signifies its origins with the Hyrulean royal family. They say Princess Zelda herself once used this saddle for her own beloved horse. Those are a saddle and bridle left behind by Princess Zelda. The little one's accustomed to those, so feel free to use them. Also, take this with you. Energizing elixir. Makes sense. I would thought of using this energizing elixir if I had to ke keep... If, if I had to help calm the horse after it bolted off. But I don't need that anymore, so I give it to you. You might be a, uh, still a rookie, but you're still every, bu good, every bit as good of a reporter as I thought you'd be. Thanks to you, I'll have my full story when I write my article. Oh, that's right. This was your first job, wasn't it? Partner, you did quite well to get such results on your first time out. Why, I'm feeling a little proud myself. Here's the start to a, to the old nest egg. A little bit of money. Cool. As you take on more stories, your base pay will obviously increase. And there are bonuses, of course. Keep up the good work. All right, I'm off to the office to write up this whole piece for the paper. Take care, partner. Let's work together again soon. So long. We have a new horse, which I could have killed. Maybe. Let's uh, let's register this. I have the perfect name. Hello. Ah, uh, that is Princess Zelda's golden horse. We're well acquainted already. You mean to register it, I presume? Oh. Understood. Your horse will be in good hands. Are you sure you want to register it? Yes. Oh. Got it. The fee to register a wild horse is 20 rupees. Will that be all right? Uh. Oh. Since you're registering a new horse, we'll add one point to your pony points. I think I have some rewards uh. that I can grab. Oh, it looks like you've got some points saved up, Link. If you want to get your reward, step up to the side counter or I keep the ledger, then call me over. Well then, I'll move on to the registration process. First, enter a name for your horse. Are you sure you want to name this horse Gengle? I am indeed. Name registered. You want to take it with you or board it? I'm taking it. Alright, we'll take BA into our care. That concludes the registration process. If you'd like, you can also change certain things about your horse. You can't restyle your horse's mane yet, but you can equip it with a harness or a different saddle or bridle. Uh, no. It's fine as is. Well, that's all I can do for you. Thanks for using the stable, pal. Hey, he knows my name. Horses that have a lot of stamina can run at top speed for a long time. However, they can't turn well when they're running at top speed. If your horse can't turn sharply, you're more likely to hit obstacles. So I think, so think before you ask your horse to sprint. If you're going to Rito Village, I advise making sure you're properly prepared. It's Ever since those ominous clouds appeared over Hebrew Mountains, Rito Village has been in a bad way. An intense blizzard has brought all their trade to a standstill. Rumor has it that they still don't have enough food and supplies to get by. Rito Village is still west of here. You'll have no trouble getting there as long as you protect yourself from the cold. So, you might be wondering why... Gangle. Very weird name. Well, I hope to shout that maybe one of you understands the reference. Gangle, I, I was actually tied between Gangle and Giovanni, but I decided to go with the deeper cut, and the one that was actually the name of an animal. Gangle is the name of Giovanni's cat from Twilight Princess, the the uh, guy who the entire postal quest revolves around. And, of course, both Giovanni and his cat Gangle are turned to gold when you meet them. 
get some rewards. Man, I'm at the four hour mark of the, for the recording. Granted, I, I have a feeling that probably an hour and a half or an hour of the footage is um, probably going to be cut out. But still, that's a long recording session. I'm going to go a little bit longer. You'd like to get your pony points reward, right? For five points, you'll get a, uh, the horse god fabric. Okay, which I don't know what to do with fabric yet. Oh, Hateno. Yeah, Hateno. Okay. And then what else? The Melania bed. What? Oh, what? Okay. Okay, we can register more horses. I thought we had multiple rewards, or maybe it was just reminding me. Okay, I need I need three more three more points. Interesting. Okay, well let's take uh, let's take Gengle over here. Um, it'll take it'll take a little bit for me to get used to that name. Um, Giovanni it just rolls off the tongue. It's a more it's an actual common name, or at least an iteration of one. Giovanni. Is that horse pink? That horse looks very pink to me, but I'd probably name that one Peaches and Cream if I got it. Ah! Stop! 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 <clears throat> why do I always, why do I always run into Colton at the end of a recording session? <sighs> All right, let's see if my voice can take this. That's kind of why I'm doing a long recording session. I'm trying to get into, back into the swing of things and build up some uh, endurance from with my vocal cords, as if I don't have enough from D and D already. But you know, more can't, more can't hurt. Good evening, traveler. Foul weather can't foul my mood when I'm on my way to becoming a Satori. What? What is that I sense? Traveler, could it be that you have gobs of bubble gems in your possession? I, have a, I really do have gobs. If you have bubble gems, I'll trade them for treasure. Let's trade. Mm, let's see. If you give me four bubble gems, I'll give you one item of value. Oh, yes, yes. I'll give you the mystic trousers. Sounds fair to me. Eat up. Hazoo, thank you. I'll dally no more. Here I go. Ouch. I feel something bubbling up from deep inside me, I think. Yuck, more. Give me more bubble gems. Uh, I'm sorry. Now that I am myself once more, please. Here's the treasure I promised you. Allowing them to lose rupees instead of health when hit. I don't know if that's worth my time, but whatever. Uh, oh, okay. That's a decent reward. Of course, if you have any remaining bubble gems, I'll happily trade them for treasure. Hmm, let's see. If you give me four bubble gems, I'll give you one item of value. Okay, so what I need to return with at least eight in order to get the next two rewards, because I, I don't like talking to him if I'm literally just going to get, like, a tiny, tiny piece of loot. That just doesn't make sense. But if I'm going to get, you know, a new piece of gear, then, of course, I'll, I'll give that a shot. Uh, that's a fortress. Don't really care about that. I can go infinite with my inventory without it. Oh, boy. Hi. Hello. You have my support! <laughs> What? Are you gonna support him? All right, I'm trusting you. Uh, that barely worked. Sure. How was the praise of dance standing? That was brilliant. I would have never thought of it. All right, let's get him secured while he's still standing. Put this right here. Get that face in hand. Perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing properly and in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Please take this with my thanks. Also, you be hungry, so take these spicy veggie rice balls, which sound amazing. Ah, oh, but I don't think I feel like I've thanked you enough. Here's something else. Oh. Okay, uh, a, a vouching, a lodging voucher for a regular stable bed. Okay, cool. Ah. Now I can go to other places to put up more signs, and with that I'm off. Onward to signs! 
What are these signs even for? What are they advertising? I kind of lost the plot on the signs, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, are we going to that? Is that how I'm ending off the session? I just keep kind of... I'm kind of pushing my luck here. Is that... No, yeah, that's... That's the one I want. That's the tower I want. Okay. Well, yeah, I think that's a good place to end things off. There's another tower over there. Oh, okay, that's that. Interesting. Uh, yeah. It's been... This has been a very eventful session. I mean, we start... I don't know how many... I think maybe we had two. We had two shrines at the beginning of the session, and now we have 11. And we have a horse, and we've fought a dragon, and we've done... We did a maze? That's... Yeah. I think we can be proud of us. Uh, I think what's really remaining... Uh, I don't know where it is exactly, but... Yeah, I'm not exactly sure ex uh, where it is precisely, but there was a, um, a shrine that involved us having to bowl with, with snowballs in Breath of the Wild, and I... I have a feeling that it probably leads to the Leviathan statue, and I'm, I'm really curious to go see that. Tulin, I don't know what it is about you, but... You constantly, so you constantly startle me. I think it's just because he pops in and out of existence, and he's just always in my blind spot, as opposed to Riju, that typically kind of walks ahead, you know? This, I believe this area was a, a key feature of the DLC, the Champion's Ballad, because we had the, uh, we had the surfing minigame here, which was really sweet. I, I hope there's another surfing minigame. Maybe one that's fleshed out a little bit better. N nothing against the first one, just... I'd like to see them do new stuff with it. Hey, you! Dead. What's up? <laughs> that wasn't even warm-up for you, was it? Is it written all over your face? Your battle prowess deserves a show of appreciation. Please, I insist. Take these fish. No, I might not look it. I'm a monster hunter of some small renown. I spend my days traveling the lands of Hyrule in search of a myriad of prey. At the, resist, the request of a fellow named Colton, I'm presently hunting bubble frogs, mysterious cave-dwelling creatures. I've heard that one such beast lurks in, this, in a cave in this very region. The question is, which cave? I hate to break this to you, buddy, but it's most of them. Lead me to the cave. Uh, I'm gonna not gonna hit him for a second. And by second, I mean a nano second. I just want to see the, which direction you go, because that means there's a cave right over this way. Okay, I might have jumped the gun a little bit there. It's of no consequence. Certainly, the cave is right here. Right here. Where on earth is it? The... Okay. Maybe not. Maybe I, I jumped the gun on that. Okay, well, let's, let's go back to our original plan then. What on earth is this? Oh, it's the bridge. Can we repair the bridge? It looks like this Korok wants us to use said bridge. No, he does not. Okay, okay. Well, we can do this. We can do this. This will be the last thing. This will be the very last thing, because I'm... I'll be honest. I'm, I'm getting to the point. I'm getting to that point, you know? Uh... Oh, we just lift this up. Now, here's my question. Is this permanent? It doesn't look like it's permanent. Oh well. I feel like it could be permanent. Like it would just like snap together. Like um, like why am I using Paper Mario Sticker Star as an example? But like Paper Mario Sticker Star, you know? Got it. Yes, I did it. I did it. Yeah. Will this stay like this forever? Probably not. Probably not. But it's a bridge. We did it. 
You can just walk up. It's a little bit whopper jaw, just a tiny bit, but it's good. And you know what? Uh oh. Uh, uh, I want a thumbnail. Why? Okay, 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 okay. This is my demonstration here. Look at the resolution of this image. Now, I'm gonna unpause the game. And now look at the resolution. You see the difference? It's... Uh, why? Why do they do that? It's not that... Okay, I, I don't want to say it's not that hard, but... Other games, Xenoblade Chronicles, you you hold in both, sh uh, both shoulder buttons and it takes a photo. It, in fact, it removes the HUD, it takes a photo, and the photos look pretty good. Why the screenshot feature takes a screenshot? It's fine. Why does snapping a photo with the literal camera feature lower the quality to, like, 2008? I don't get it. It's very frustrating. And as somebody who really wants to be a photographer in this game, I am not allowed. I'm told no. My kind- my fun is not allowed. Let's- let's go to this- let's go to this tower. I actually kind of want to keep recording, but I'm- I'm not necessarily going to, unless we see a shrine. It depends on what I see when I go up this tower. Alright, let's get, uh, let's get harassed by the, the guardian arms. I wonder, have they, I don't think they've said how many years have passed since, uh, since Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. I wonder if, it, like, thematically, they just, weird flashing, they, they destroyed all of the Divine Beasts just so that Ganon couldn't use them again. Okay, let's get our scan. And then immediately pull our chute. I'm thinking I might land on that Sky Island. That seems like a good idea, though it also kind of preambles, um... It kind of preambles... What on earth was that above us? Uh, the, the Stormhead. I feel like it might just lead directly into that. There we go, Tabatha Tundra. That's all of Hebra and Tabatha mapped out. I guess, except for the little bit in the south, but... We can see everything now. Cool. Yeah, what is that behind us? I gotta pull my chute immediately. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. What on earth is that up there? Those are... What? Oh, there are ships! There are ships up there! Whoa! There are a bunch of them! That's crazy! I heard a sound. I'm under attack. I am under attack. Uh, let's... Let's dive and get away from these guys. Batteries and fans? Wow. Well, this isn't exactly what I want. Um, I'm gonna- I'm gonna jump down. I'm gonna just do a little bit of gliding here. Not that way. Probably towards the mountain. I wanna- I wanna end on a great spot so that when I start the session back up, we know what we're doing. I wanna- I wanna end on a cliffhanger, you know? I don't wanna just end on- oh, which probably use this. I think I could probably make that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, Tulin, give me the boost, give me the boost! Give me the boost, brother! Hurry! Sweet. We're up. Uh, do I have a rocket shield? No, but I can, I can make one. Fuse and alley-oop! We can ascend through that, perfect, perfect, perfect! And we could probably get to that shrine, I'd say. Rising Island Chain. Hey! Link! It was around here that I saw Princess hmm. Zelda, but now I don't know where she could have gone. Hmm? What is that? Ho-ho! Next time. 
Pal plays Tears of the Kingdom. We board an arc. See you guys then. <laughs>